Hello everyone, Barb here from barbaderholt.closetomyheart.com. Today's card project is this one. I fell in love with this Rustic Sign Sentiment stamp set that is brand new in our core catalog that just started on September 1st, 2021. And I wanted to use it and thought, oh, what can I do? What can I do? So I got out my handy dandy, make it from your heart, volume four. This volume is about card layouts. And I started flipping through and I came across this one. And I thought, oh, that, that would work. That little sign on that little banner. I think that would be nice. So that's what I did. I adjusted some measurements to work with the card that I have here to work with the size of the uh, Get Well Soon little plank rustic sign. That's what it is, rustic sign. Um, I have things mounted on clear acrylic rocks. I will have to cut out. This set is available with optional thin cuts, which I love because I don't really like fussy cutting. I will if I have to, but if I don't, I won't. The colors I'm using here, I have Mocha, Flamingo, and Harbor. Mocha and Harbor are brand new. So I'm pulling in a couple of the new colors that I have. I have a scratch piece of paper for stamping off. And I have a couple of pieces to, to try to stamp the, the rustic sign. Um, I don't know how well I will able to do so we're gonna have some spares. I have a piece of two by oh, let's see here five to make my banner piece. This I already pre-stamped and cut out. This is the little the little hanger thing. I thought I'd save you the pain of my doing that on camera. And I have a piece of patterned paper here that is four by five and a quarter. I Got out my, oh, let's see here, these are, these are the drags. These are what is left of the As You Grow paper pack that I received to work with in my convention bundle. And I'm not going to let any of that go to waste. So this is what that paper pack looks like. It is in the core catalog on page 10. So I just chose a couple of pieces that I had in there that would work with the sizes that I needed. And I think they're, it's beautiful paper, just beautiful. It can work for feminine, masculine, in between. I think it, it, it covers it all. So I think we will get started. First thing I will do is set stuff aside. And let's attempt to stamp this. Now I'm going to use Harbor for my sign. But I'm going to stamp it off. Stamping off is a great way to get a little more use out of your inks. This is full strength. And stamping off is just taking a scratch piece of paper and stamping off a level of the ink. But there's still ink on here. And that leftover ink is a lighter shade. So I will hold this up so you can see the difference. See. I thought this would be a little tough to see the words if I left it dark, so I stamped it off, and now I have this little guy. And I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. Now I'm going to get out my mocha, and I have the Get Well Soon, and this stamp set is really nice because it's versatile. You can use a many different um, sentiments. There we go. Straight down, straight up. Good to go. Then I also decided I would like a heart. So I'm using Flamingo. And I'm going to kind of do a little squishle, squizzle, and then tap, tap, tap to get nice coverage. And it will look a little blotchy at first, but it 
it does uh, flatten out, um, levels out, uh, evens out. I guess evens out is the word. Okay, now I'm going to get this ready to run through my dye machine. Let's see what we have here. I want to get the thin cuts. So I've got the heart and I've got the little sign guy. And what I'm going to do is, now that I worked so hard to get that straight, I have to wiggle it. I've got some purple tape. This is a low tack. Um, I don't know, kind of like a painter's tape. But it's, it's meant for crafting. You could use painter's tape. You could use, um, you could use uh, even washi tape. Some people will use a, a post-it note, just, you know, just the sticky of a post-it note over it. It's just meant to keep the die from shifting when you run it through your machine. Now, in my Spellbinders machine here, thought I could use my baby machine, but it, this is just a hair too wide. So I like my spell binders because it folds up and it's smaller for storage. And I am going to run these through cut side up. Um, it seems to work better for me that way. My plate is all warpy, but it still works. And I'm just putting a little bit of pressure just to get the plate moving and then I hang on to it up here at the top. A little bit of cracking is normal. Don't worry about that. That's what it does because you're cutting into the little plate. And I'll get this side of the way. And you can use whatever kind of machine you like to use. If you don't like to die cut, you can always opt to fussy cut. That is always an option. There we go. And, whew, get that over there. I try to save my tape if I can because I'm stingy. So we've got all of our pieces. The last thing I need to do is take this 2 by 5 inch piece of pattern paper and cut a little banner end. I like to flip it over to do the second side. For whatever reason, I get a better looking cut. Add a little glue, glue our paper down. This is that big background piece, four by five and a quarter. And then we put down our banner piece. And I think we could have used either side of this. They're both beautiful. But I really wanted to use that flamingo, and the flamingo seems to match some of what's going on here. Now we need to attach our little hanger doodad here, so a little bit of glue in each corner. If I can pick this up, I have no fingernails. We go just like that and then the heart kind of up here yeah just like that now I'm gonna put some dimensionals on the back of here and I'm gonna use um, these are leftovers from the inside of a um, shaker thin cut. So they cut them all up for us and you can you can use them on all these other kinds of projects. And I'm cutting one of them into little slivers <laughs> so that the little handle stays it stays up and it doesn't sag. And then I think one out here on the heart. And those work really well. Now the tricky part. Last one. And I'm going to 
just basically centering the get well soon over that. And then I got out my itty bitty sparkles because I think they're so pretty and they add just a little something, a little bit of glitz, just like that. So, so stinking cute. And you can see I used a different color on this one for the background, but I really like that harbor. I think that works out when you stamp it off. Thank you so much for stopping by. Have a blessed, crafty day, and I will see you next time.